Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm just a casual sim racer and we're back in R Factor 2 today and we are going to be racing the Houston G6. I'm driving the 1969 Mark III version of that car and I want to show off the awesome new track developed by Mike Cantwell. It's early, early on in development. It's an 0.1 release of the 1985 Bathurst track. And Bathurst is just an amazing track, you know, in any racing game. And this is no exception, you know. As I try to figure out the gearing in this car, I've driven it before. Um, and so we're racing a bunch against another you know, a bunch of Houstons. We got the Dissenter, we got the uh, the G4 and the G6, and I chose both 1968 G4 and 1969 G4, as well as 1968 and 69 G6 cars to run against here. Um, one reason why I'm choosing these is these are official R Factor 2 content, so I was hoping the AI would do a bit better. We're also not on Oval, and I know people get tired of me hating on the AI, so I'm hoping I can have a good race here today without too many issues. Um, I feel like this is a very new mod combined with a official R Factor 2 content should work better than perhaps some other combinations here. And so, yeah, I'm going to just focus on the track now and you can see the details. It's definitely set in kind of an 80s period, which we have a lot of like 1960s stuff in a lot of um, games. And we have a lot of you know, maybe some 70s stuff. The pre-war stuff is definitely taking off more recently, but there's not a ton necessarily of 80s stuff. I mean, there's quite a few 1988 F1 packs that float around in different games, but apart from those packs, there really isn't that much 1980s content. And so it's always great to see, especially for a classic, oh my goodness, track like this. You know, a lot of really great mods set in the 80s. And so, gives us an opportunity here to race down the back straight. Line over the edge. This is essentially a Can-Am car. Oh yeah, I forgot. It goes straight into the end here, doesn't it? Forget how the old uh, Bathurst was. There's no, uh, no kink on the straight there. It was a lot more like a square back in the day. So we're going to finish one lap here. It's just a two-lap race. Might go a little quicker than I thought. Um, this car is pretty cool. I mean, it seems to drive all right. The AI seems to work pretty well, so that's a good thing. I love the details there on the track signs. I think he did a great job on the trees. I mean, for me, R Factor 2, unless it's like the new official content, I think it's hard. It seems hard for mod creators to get their stuff to look as good as the official stuff. And, of course, like I mentioned, this is an 0.1 release, but... I always find that interesting in how which mods can look like they're like it's almost like certain content and certain mods can look like it's almost from an entirely different game. It's just very weird to me. But I think this mod is definitely one of the best out there in terms of track quality of mod tracks. I'm not going to say it's quite at the level that some of the latest Studio 397 via Motorsport game stuff has been. Some of those new tracks are really, really nice, but this is definitely, I would say, just below that. And, you know, who knows? Maybe with some continued updates, it can get right up there. You see the beautiful, there's the tower on top of the hill. Just some really thoughtful details around this track. Mike has really done a... Oh my goodness. I don't think this is the way to avoid that, but we went over the berm. Avoid those dissenters that were all on top of each other. You got this, I mean, just like the signage, and of course the layout's accurate, and it's just a really cool track, you know? Come down here, you can see the farmland on the side. A little less developed than it is today. And you get the two hills that now you get to go over rises as you go down here just flying along 130 195 almost getting to 200 miles an hour whoa bouncing along on the suspension coming down to the final corner here 
Shifting down. Coming around. I'm gonna finish 20th. Like I said, never driven this car before. And uh, first time driving this track, but definitely one I think that pay attention to. It's still pretty early on, but I think there's definitely some real high quality here that you don't want to be missing out on in the future, you know? So that's the uh, 1985 Bathurst track. Just a quick peek at that. Um, feel free to, I'll continue probably to uh, do another video on it once it's further along nearing a 1.0 state or especially when it is fully finished and officially released. I'll definitely do another video on it then. So, Well, I hope to catch you next video. But until then, I hope every single one of you has a fantastic rest of your week.